Jason Bishop. I'm a senior here at Upper Iowa University. I'm studying exercise science and I play soccer also for Upper Iowa University. I'm Matt Rukert. I'm the head athletic trainer here at Upper Iowa University. Asthma in general is a respiratory condition that affects the vessels branching out throughout the lungs. Uh, there's two different ways that asthma can affect those vessels. They can either start to narrow, uh, the smooth muscle actually starts to constrict and narrow the vessels, which doesn't allow as much uh, air to be going passing through or those vessels will actually start to spasm, which again, doesn't allow the air, which doesn't allow the person to breathe as efficiently as normal. Um, as far as affecting and influencing an athlete, it can be something as minor as just a uh, uh, hindrance to their daily activities or to the athletic event, all the way up to sometimes if it's severe enough to actually not allow them to participate in athletics. It all depends on the severity. Uh, there's a wide range as far as minor to severe. In general though, asthma can be uh, managed very well, whether it's uh, through different breathing techniques and some relaxation techniques to medications, whether they be short-term or long-term medications. Um, as far as a high-level career within athletics, whether it be in uh, collegiately or professionally, it shouldn't really hinder them as long as, as it's controlled. There are many of examples of very high level, professional, hall of fame worthy mm -hmm. athletes that have had asthma. If someone was having an asthma attack here at Upper Iowa, we would, one, just try to have them stay calm. Uh, the more calm someone is, the better it's going to be to try to get some air into their lungs. Uh, the more stressed they are and the more tense they are it doesn't actually allow the rib cage to expand to allow that air to come in so staying calm is very imperative um, next we want to do some type of quick medication most of our athletes that have asthma will have some type of inhaler or quick acting medication if someone did not say we weren't sure or they forgot their medication um, we do carry some quick acting medications in our kits for emergency purposes. Those inhalers, we would want them to use uh, at least once, if not twice. Depending on the severity of the attack, we would either start to see some relief and be able to manage them from that point on, or we may need to actually call or transport that person for further medical attention, just depending on the severity. Not on the total number, but I can say that probably most of our sports have someone that has asthma. Okay. Uh, it's really common for athletes, um, whether it's, there's different kinds of asthma. A lot of our athletes would have one that's called exercise induced. Okay. So um, obviously anytime that they start to exercise, participate in their athletic event, they're at risk of having an attack. But as long as they manage things, it should be under control. Someone that isn't as active and may not have that trigger, um, it can be a little bit easier to control. If somebody's trigger is, say, cold temperatures, it may be a lot easier for them to not allow that cold air into their lungs where we can't get past an athlete not working out. Right. They have to exercise. Right. So sometimes it can be harder. How it affected me in sports. Uh, at first, it was like a lot of breathing problems, obviously. Um, it really didn't affect me a whole lot because I, don't know, I just like playing sports, so I mean, I just kept going with it regardless of if I could breathe or not, I guess. Okay. But it never was, it's, I have sports induced asthma, so it's not like general asthma, but it still affected me, like how, like my endurance when I was younger. I had to try a little bit harder to keep up with some of the other kids. So. The most challenging part would be like making sure I'm always in shape pretty much. Um, yeah, because obviously there's big breathing problems so it's really hard to keep up with them sometimes. So I had to work extra hard. What To prevent the asthma or kind of help it, I have an inhaler that I've been taking uh, two puffs 
it's like too popular. Of it, um, two plus before every game. I used to do practices, but uh, as I get got older, it got a little bit better. So I only do games now. But uh, I was also on uh, a pill uh, called Singular, and also another inhaler that I took at night called Advair. Um, so I was on I was on a few different medicines to kind of help. The coach's standpoint, I've never been like. I guess discriminated against. They've always known about it. I never kept it a secret. Um, every school, uh, like the high school and college, all the athletic trainers know there's always uh, an emergency inhaler, like ready to go. No one really treated me any different than asthma. So. The weather is a big factor. If it's humid and it's really like dry, that kind of doesn't make it any better. And also cold is a huge factor too. It makes it a lot harder to breathe than normal. I'd say for someone who has asthma who's young, going into sports, I'd say you really can't let that hold hold you back. That should just be more of a factor to keep pushing you, to keep going. Uh, I mean, it made me a lot, like a lot stronger of a person in general, having that mindset. Is that if I can, if I can run 90 minutes with asthma, I, I can do this or I can do that. So something like that. Okay. My name is Ryan Pinkerton. I'm a junior at Upper Iowa. My, ex or my major is exercise science, and I play on the men's soccer team. Uh, I, I can't think in three years that I've known Bish that we've had any instances where he needed his, his inhaler. 